Oh. Ah, just go somewhere. <laughs> One way to Cairns. One way to Cairns. <laughs> Great weather on our first day in Sydney here, for sure. We, uh, we pleaded with the hotel to provide us with this umbrella. They were nice enough to have a few extra. Wow. That's so convenient. We are definitely the most unprepared today. We just got in last night, didn't get cash, didn't figure out the system. Luckily, the system's great. <laughs> Our first day in Sydney was a jet-lagged, rainy blur. We woke up super late, realized that we were totally unprepared for not only the rain, but also for any form of transportation. Looks like the trains are running. I thought it was a mountain, and then I realized where we were. And the Harbor Bridge! There is something nice about seeing it in the rain. It's so pretty. We hadn't even really processed the fact that we got to have lunch with our good friend Jen, Lisa's hula sister, who we last saw in Hawaii a long time ago, actually in Sydney, Australia, overlooking the Opera House in Harbor Bridge. Wow! <laughs> It is so rainy! Welcome to Sydney! Hey, there's the Opera House! We had an amazing lunch at the MCA Cafe with one of the most beautiful views we've ever seen. Cheers, Australia really oh, reopened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, welcome. <laughs> All while being overwhelmed by the fact that we only had a few short hours to see more of rainy Sydney, get our SIM cards, get some cash, and get ready for our camper van journey that was starting tomorrow. Jen keeps apologizing for this weather here, but I think it's beautiful and I love the rain. It's actually like kind of cold and it's great. We're heading over to Woolworth. Unfortunately, the weather had very different plans for us and our mindsets had not really adjusted to the fact that we actually made it to Australia and we were no longer in Thailand. What are you? <laughs> What's the weather like out there? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it's still raining out there, huh? And you look comfy. We were, in short, hilariously unprepared in just about every way. Wow! It's actually sunny. It's raining again. Whew. Today we go pick up our camper van. Okay, just went through the old pre-drive briefing, you know, checking out to see where all the little snags on this thing are, little chips in it, but we're all good to go. We're all set up. We were so excited. The rain's even stopped for a second. It's, uh, it's auspicious is what it is. It's auspicious. Here we go. Has it been a while since I've driven manual stick shift? Yes. Am I driving stick shift on the wrong side of the road in a car that I've never driven before? <laughs> uh, yes. Are we probably gonna, is there gonna be some embarrassing moments along the We're way? We're gonna stall. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I oh, believe in you. Thank you, glad somebody does. What's going on? Just, just, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> there we go, I knew it, I knew it. Oh. Ah, just, go. it's rainy. Yeah. And there's a fair bit of traffic around. Yeah, just yeah. To, so you yeah. get used to it. Where the, where the uh, takeoff point is. That, I, I, know, I have confidence in you. <laughs> but it's, it's okay if you don't. It's reasonable <laughs> if you don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, leave it like that. Now slowly take it off. Okay. Oh, one way to Cairns. One way to Cairns. <laughs> uh, you found your takeoff point. Yes, kind of. Maybe don't there's your takeoff take point. Nothing more embarrassing than that. Got it now. Power of 80s music. 
music. Okay, so now that we're figuring out the old stick shift, it's been about 10 years since I've done this, so you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's been a while. Man. Uh, so now the next missions that we're doing today is we're trying to get out of all this. We're trying to get to the next campground, which is just a little bit north of Sydney, and do some grocery shopping. We gotta, we gotta cook some meals. We haven't even had breakfast yet. I miss Thailand. <laughs> Come on. We're having a blast. I'm having fun. We're still deep into the train strike, so there's so many more cars on the road right now than I think there would be normally. So busy, it's so busy. But we are almost to our first highway. Man, getting around Sydney takes forever and you gotta go super slow, but maybe, I think, I think we're almost to a place where we can just like drive instead of stopping and going a thousand times. But it's been good practice. It's been good practice. Okay, well, after about two hours of us trying to get out of the city uh i think i think we're out of the city now and um yeah, buddy. we just booked our first campsite Woo. you know we 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 didn't really do any planning for this as you can tell we booked our first camper van site at blue lagoon resort it's a little bit pricier than we had hoped for but it's about four o'clock and there aren't too many options available in our area. So paying $50, which is about probably 40 something US. It's on the beach though, and that's, that's a great way to kick off our first day. We are the most ill-prepared travelers today. We don't even have water. We haven't had any food, no breakfast, no lunch, and it's 4.30 p.m. and we're just driving. Now at least we're moving. Lots of jangling back there. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Had a lot of fun. I, I don't know. I think driving manual, especially since it's been 10 years since the last time I did it. Like, I think I'm going to sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow, and I'm going to be so good at it. But day one's always hard. You did great. Thank you. We made it. All right, let's go shopping. I saw on the news that they were giving out Vegemite for free to people who are coming in at the airport who are flying in like right when Australia reopens. So it's got to be important, right? If it's one of like the defining things. I've never tried it before. So uh, let's see what it's all about. That's the type of budget we're on today. Uh, let's go before we spend any more money. Spent about 80 US dollars today on groceries i uh have to remember this is an investment right we're not eating this all tonight i might <laughs> two four okay success so far hey Okay, good. Can you see if the microwave works? Ooh, are we at shore power? Yeah. Nice. We definitely feel like noobs at this again. And even when we did van life before, it <laughs> we only did it for about a month. Part of the fun of this is also trying to figure out where everything goes. We haven't yet even explored the van and all the little storage, then trying to fit in, yeah what well, we can. There are a lot of cool little nooks and crannies to store things. Like, look at this. Okay, now time to move in and clean up. Look what made it on the journey. Coconut pour over. missing is our little kitty Octavius. Yeah, he'd be up here. Yeah, he'd be sleeping right there. But we do have this uh, cat tile that we got in Phuket that someone gave us. So a little housewarming gift. Okay, that is much better. <laughs> much more clean up now. I think it's time for dinner. Still figuring things out. <laughs> yeah, we haven't eaten anything today, so we're starving. Time to start cooking. 
The nice thing about this camper van is that it comes equipped with most of the things that you actually really need. So utensils, pots and pans, bowls, cups, pillows. Whisk, a cheese grater, a potato peeler. What? A And now it's raining. Josh, your clothes. The whole day I kept thinking, okay, wherever we end up, this drive, this relearning how to drive stick shift and driving through the crazy traffic in Sydney, it's all gonna be worth it. It's all gonna be worth it once we get here and we got here. It's worth it. Woo! Okay, are up. Go. Looks great. Thank Just you. It's bedtime. And it's 8 o'clock. Lefty Lucy. All set. Today started with us rushing and then continued with us rushing for the rest of the day. Had to relearn how to drive stick shift in a camper van on the wrong side of the road in Sydney. While it was raining. Yeah, while it was raining. And we didn't know where we were going, let's be honest. We had no plans. <laughs> All right, we are heading to bed. Uh, more fun stuff tomorrow and I'll probably be a little bit better at driving stick then. You will. Ooh, wish me luck. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say.